Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Join me as we explore the rich past of Washington's capital, Olympia, and discover how its layers of history have shaped the vibrant city we know today. As the seat of Thurston County and its largest city, Olympia was first established in 1859, later becoming a city in 1882. With around 50,000 residents, it ranks as the 24th most populous city in the state. It's flanked by Lacey to the east and Tumwater to the south, and stands as a pivotal cultural hub in the southern Puget Sound region. A mere 60 miles from Seattle, Olympia enjoys a blend of local charm and proximity to urban amenities. Long before European settlers arrived, the land that Olympia now occupies was home to various Native American tribes. The Stechas, a Lushootseed speaking people, later amalgamated into the Squaxin Island tribe, were the ancestral inhabitants for millennia. Various other tribes, such as the Puyallup, Nisqually, Chehalis, Duwamish, and Suquamish, would frequent the area to hunt and trade, drawn by its rich resources. Renowned for its bountiful supplies of food and water, the Olympia area was a cornucopia for the indigenous peoples who harvested shellfish from the tide flats and fished for salmon in the streams feeding into Puget Sound. The Stechas, who considered this land their home, generously shared it with neighboring tribes. They named the area Cheat Woot, translating to the cool place of the bear, a nod to the region's refreshing environment and perhaps its wildlife. The initial European contact with Olympia began with the 1792 British Vancouver Expedition, closely followed by Peter Puget's exploration, both of which, intriguingly, didn't record encounters with the local tribes. The Hudson Bay Company's establishment of Fort Nisqually in 1833 marked a significant shift, turning the area into a nexus for fur trading. As the fur trade waned, agriculture took root, transforming the economic landscape. The arrival of American expeditions in the early 1840s, including that of Lieutenant Charles Wilkes, began to map and claim the area for the United States. The strategic position of Olympia, near the terminus of the Oregon Trail, saw its population swell, especially after the establishment of a customs house in 1851. Olympia's name was bestowed in 1850, inspired by the majestic views of the Olympic Mountains. The ensuing decade was pivotal, as Governor Isaac I. Stevens negotiated the Treaty of Medicine Creek with local tribes, a move that led to tension and conflict over land rights, culminating in the Puget Sound War. Olympia's geographic advantage, situated by several waterways and an overland trail between the Cowlitz River and Puget Sound, made it a natural hub for pioneers and traders alike. Its fertile land and amiable climate further boosted its appeal as a settlement, attracting both commerce and agriculture. As we conclude this episode on our historical journey through Olympia, we are reminded that the city is more than just a political seat. It's a living museum, echoing the footsteps of diverse cultures and peoples, from its earliest Native American inhabitants who recognized its bountiful gifts to the European settlers who sought new beginnings and the American pioneers who solidified its standing. Olympia has been a stage for a continuous confluence of histories. Today, as we walk through the city's streets, past the Grand Capitol Building, or along the serene Puget Sound, we are walking alongside the whispers of history. Each corner tells a story, each building holds a memory, and every view offers a glimpse into a storied past that has shaped the vibrant, thriving community that is Olympia today. As we celebrate this city's rich heritage, we also look forward to the chapters yet to be written in its ongoing story of growth and community. Now, for those of you tracing your roots in Washington State, there are several invaluable resources at your disposal. Begin your journey at the Washington State Archives and Library, where microform indexes and a vast array of historical records await. Dive into the past with their gazetteers and business directories, or trace military history through their extensive collections. The Washington State Genealogical Society offers a blog brimming with tips and trivia, 
alongside comprehensive cemetery listings and guides to local resources, ensuring that every stone in your family's past is left unturned. Should you prefer a more tactile approach, the Fisk Genealogical Foundation Library, along with several public libraries and regional archives branches, provides a trove of genealogical materials and expert volunteer assistance. These resources, combined with the vast digital archives of FamilySearch and the national treasures housed in the Library of Congress, provide a robust foundation for discovering the rich tapestry of your family's history in the Pacific Northwest. Thank you for listening and subscribing to the Ancestral Findings podcast. For additional resources, visit ancestralfindings.com. You can download a free ebook, request a free genealogy lookup, and even participate in our weekly historical postcard giveaway. If you want to support us in more ways, consider supporting us on Patreon or PayPal. Every contribution helps to keep the lights on. From all of us at Ancestral Findings, Thank you for being an integral part of our family history community since 1995. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy searching.